Claudia getting a rap with her new boo, Elise. She trying to get up in the game. Tells Claudia they should sell drugs to preppy kids with money. Says that her mom is a silent partner in a club that's popping. That's risky business. Claudia don't have no foot in there, which she tells Elise. She'd be a fish out of water. Relying on Elise and proper due diligence to set up shop, which Claudia may or may not be in a position to do. Claudia like, we're going to need Shanti for this one. Elise like, no, no little boo. All you need is me now. That should tell you that there's going to be some problems right there. Like she don't know. What the hell is she doing? They just made a gang of cash with Shanti. But now they don't need Shanti. Okay. Everybody loves a star. Everybody loves a star. Everybody think they can do what you can do. Especially when you're successful. When you make it look easy. Shanti and Jannard connect. After making the money she's made, having a successful night with Claudia, she come into the gym. She shows Jannard all the money she made with Claudia. Breaking out some big stacks. He like, where you get all that? She like, okay, now, don't get mad, boo. <laughs> when your lady start off with the, okay, don't get mad. Nine times out of ten, you about to be mad. As a mofo. Shanti tell him that she took Claudia up on a deal. He passed down. The deal Claudia came to his crib with. To move them pills. Jannard like. If Tommy and Diamond find out you working with Claudia. They gonna cut us out of CBI. Might cut our tongues out. But he was too excited about his little discovery and had a, an appreciation for them stacks Shanti brought in to stay mad for too long. He ain't, he ain't give it two second thoughts. This man had wine going before she came in and everything. He showed Shanti the pics he took of Maria outside Tommy crib. She like, oh, this fool about to wreck his damn self. We ain't got to do nothing with these pics. He on the downswing. Let him swing himself out of pocket. We just sit back and watch. Meanwhile, Tommy dropped Vic off back at his car. After a long day's work, after meeting with the DSDs, you know, that big boss business. Tommy dropped Vic off at the car. Tell him nice work. Tommy pull off. But as he pulled off, he noticed that same Fed car he saw earlier nearby. You know, Tommy, stay missing, not a damn thing. Tommy surveils the area, doubles back to see what's what. Comes around the corner and sees Vic and Agent Vargas in a dimly lit alley. Like some type of foolishness was about to go down or had gone down. Or some guy on guy hanky panky. <laughs> some guy on guy hanky panky was about to pop off like this did not look good. Vic looking hella guilty. There really wasn't no explaining nothing. Tommy got the gad out. He like, what the f is going on here? Tommy know what Vargas look like. He know he a fed. He like, this dude is a cop. Vic, you know him? Vic like, no, Tommy, I don't know him. <laughs> like, just the way Vic said it. Like, duh, obviously I don't know this dude. 
I don't know this dude you just caught me in this dark alley with. <laughs> Obviously. Now, anyone with a mind still right in their head would be like, then what the f*** the two of y'all doing up in this alley? Just, just the two of y'all up in here like Chub Rock. Just the two of us. <laughs> or like that Bill Withers, just the two of us. Just the two of us. <laughs> We can make it if we try, just the two of us. <laughs> they looking suspect as hell in that alley, like deer in headlights. Tommy had to know what was up. He didn't want to believe it, though. Shit was so off guard and foul. Like when you roll up on a situation like that out the blue, you don't want to believe it. It catch you off guard so quick. But you got to believe it. You got to believe it. It should have been pop, pop, pop. Now I'm on death row. <laughs> should have been on that RBX. Tommy like you a snitch. Vic like, no, Tommy, I'm not a snitch. <laughs> he was snarky as hell with that shit too, wasn't he? <laughs> Vic was snarky. That was your verification. That would have been my fingerprint scan. Verified. Positive. Tommy let it slide, though. Same way he let Diamond live when he spied on Diamond and found he was lying about Seamus after he saw him get out of Seamus' car. Tommy, like, there's only one way to know if you a snitch or not. He like this m Vic. Vic put old Vargas down. Low hesitation, but not too much. Mostly quick. Had to. But if I know, like most of y'all know, should have been two bodies up in that alley when Tommy pieced up out of there. Should have been two.